Ulysses is almost like this um, bird that can quickly help you jump around in your script without getting lost. To continue this metaphor, birds always have this inner navigation system. They always kind of know where they're going. Yeah. So I'm going to stick to that metaphor. Bird. So before we begin, let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Olaf. I am a filmmaker from Iceland. And in this video, I'm going to tell you about how I use one of my favorite writing applications, Ulysses. Throughout my career, I've done numerous films, feature films, documentaries. I've written a lot of screenplays and novels. And uh, with this video, I just want to share my experience. Um, so it goes without saying that finding or identifying the right or perfect writing application for the specific stage that your project is at um, will help you save a lot of time. And it's not, of course, like, you can't just like, I'm going to use this software. You're going to have to go through some trial and error. Um, depending on um, at what stage your project is at. So in my case, before I decide what specific application I'm going to use for any given project that I'm working on, I simply check what stage it is at. Is it in the idea phase or note phase? Is it in the I'm going to try to write the first draft phase? Or is it in the final one? So for Ulysses, I always use that for phase two when I'm writing the first draft because it has the ability to give me a quick overview and also can help me quickly isolate uh, so I can work on one thing at a time, which of course is essential for any writer. So one of the key reasons that I find myself going back and back to Ulysses is that it has this great ability to help you quickly zoom in and zoom out of any project that you are working on. Um, for example, when I'm writing a first draft, uh, I'm using a lot of my notes and I'm writing the first draft. And that means I have to travel quite a bit between the two, between my notes and the first draft. So while I'm zooming in, zooming out, I can go and get some of my notes, bring it in, <laughs> bring it in, sorry. And yeah, I'm gonna hit the mic. No. So each time I travel, you have the risk of uh, being subjected to procrastination. <laughs> um, Ulysses helps you uh, kind of contain that process. So when you open up Ulysses, you will uh, see on from your perspective uh, groups. And within these groups, the groups are kind of folders. And these groups will contain the text sheets. Another great feature is the ability to create projects, individual projects that you can kind of, let's say you have a lot of groups, a lot of sheets, and then you can create a project that will just isolate that project from all the other projects. So it really helps you work on one thing at a time, which is probably one of the most important things for any writer. So as you work through the document, let's say you have a lot of text, you can put all these comments or annotations in the text. So as you do that, you can check the dashboard and in the dashboard, you can see the annotations. They will appear here in chronological order. So here I have examples for us. This is an example. So I have three documents here um, and I can select all of them and I will see all of them here. And this is really good because you can really focus on one thing at a time. Let's say I want to focus on YouTube too. And then I can just simply put the library here away, like so. And then I can just write. Yeah. And it's very easy to just increase the size and decrease the size. So this is the dashboard here. One, two, three. And I can quickly jump between uh, the sheets, uh, like so. This is a note. Just do it with a double percentage symbol here. And as you can see here, the note will appear here on the right side. I can quickly jump to the note. Let's do another note. And then I can jump between the notes quite easily. 
Another thing here, you can really customize the look, even though it's always a little bit dangerous to go into the selecting fonts and looks and so on. Uh, by dangerous, I mean not danger danger, but like procrastination danger. Let's just stick with this one. I kind of like this one. Um, and then you can select the fonts here. You can change them and you can also use your custom font here. So just to show you a little bit how Ulysses works, um, we're going to use one example, a famous fairy tale, The Ugly Duckling by H.G. Anderson. So let's use that fairy tale to check out some of the features. Probably the most magical powers of Ulysses is that you can have all these groups, but you can create uh, individual specific projects. So for example, let's say if I have a lot of groups in Ulysses, and then I'm thinking, oh, it's so convoluted. This project is amongst all the other projects. So I can take uh, all the groups that I've created, all the sheets that I've created, and I can create a specific project. For example, here I have my project. And as you can see here, if I flip this one, I have a crazy amount of projects. When you are working on so many projects, it is tricky to organize them all. And to help you dive into Ulysses a little bit better, let's create a specific project just to give you an example. So let's go here. I have prepared it here. This is the Ugly Duckling by H.C. Anderson. Let's copy it. Go into projects, add a new project. Let's call it uh, Ugly Duckling. And this is now the Ugly Duckling project right here. So the first thing I'm going to do here is add new group and just call it new group at this time. And I have the group here and then I'm going to create a sheet and paste the Ugly Duckling story in here. I read somewhere that uh, we can only remember seven things at a time, um, which becomes a little bit of a tragedy when we're writing because we're always forgetting what we wrote, we're always bringing it back. How was this location? How was this character? How was this character changed? How was this location changed? How was this story arc changed? And so on and so forth. So using keywords in Ulysses is one of the kind of strongest feature, the strongest thing of helping you have an overview of your story. So let's Look under the hood of Ulysses. So here we have the Ugly Duckling, we have the dashboard, and here is a story. Yeah, um, it was uh, <clears throat> it was so glorious out. Okay, I'm not going to read the whole thing for you. So let's just split it up, and then we split the sheet here into two. So now we have two sheets because I've split it here. Yeah. So now I've split it parts of it. So let's call this one. And I'll just do a, an annotation here. I'll just call this introduction. Here we can see the X opening up. X opening up. And then we can see here, I think it's a turkey egg. As you can see, I've split it up in here into some sections. So now I've put in these annotations here. And as you can see on my right side here, I can see all the chapters quite easily. So at the moment, I'm seeing all my documents here at the same time. Yeah. So I can select all of them and I can right click and then I can say unglue sheets and then I can see one document at a time. This really helps me work on one thing. These four and I can select all four of them like so and then I see all four of them. Excellent. Another magical thing about Ulysses is the use of keywords. So as I'm splitting up the document, it's going to be glued. So I want to unglue it like so to make sure that if I put a keyword, that the keyword is only relevant to the sheet that I'm working in. So in this sheet here, here is maybe say, Mother Duck. I think Mother Duck was also here, correct? This is Mother Duck also here. So for example, I have put some keywords here into these chapters here. And right now I'm going to create a filter. Um, and the intention with that is to isolate all the chapters that have certain keywords. So I'm going to create a filter where I can always know where the mother duck is in what sheet is that character. Yeah. So right here I have the story and here is my filter, it's like a filter folder or filter group. And if I click that, I can see all the chapters that have the character of mother duck. So this is very helpful 
when you are creating consistency throughout the story. Every time a certain character appears, you can be consistent with her mannerisms. Same goes for locations. Um, the first time we go into a location, uh, if you have keyworded it, you can have the location bright. In the second time we see the location, you can have it dark. And in the third time we see the location, maybe something has moved, a picture or something like that. So we can do that, for example, with this magical tool of filters. So the more we keyword our document, the easier it is to focus on one layer at a time of the story. So for example, I keyword a location, a character, and so on and so forth. So I really appreciate the aesthetics also of Ulysses. It does feel very slick and extremely fast. You can use it on your computer, iPad, and phone, and it will sync up pretty uh, effortlessly through iCloud. So Ulysses uses what is called a markdown writing. That might sound a little bit fancy if you don't know what it is, but a little bit of online browsing will quickly get you up to date, up to speed on that technique. It is very simple. And I'm not just saying that because I know how it works. It is actually simple, really, really. Ulysses also has a lot of great export qualities. You can export books, PDFs, words, document, Word documents, and you can even um, connect it directly to your blog. So I hope this video was helpful to you. You can see some links uh, below this video, um, links to my website, some of the online courses that I'm teaching in terms of filmmaking, my website and so on and so forth. Um, if you have any questions, just drop a comment. But thank you uh, sincerely for taking the time to watch this video. Um, this is a pure labor of love, labor of joy to share my experiences. Um, and yeah, and best of luck uh, to your writing.